Hello everyone. So today I'm going to uh, explain the topic uh, Kafka with the multi-threaded consumer. So in this uh, session, I'm going to uh, teach you everything uh, from the scratch. I mean, I'm uh, starting the Zookeeper, uh, the, the the Kafka and everything from this guy so that you could you know follow it. Uh, there is already a previous video on the you know how to start the Zookeeper and the Kafka, but still I am doing it uh, a fresh start so that uh, you could uh, you know uh, uh, recall it. And also there may be some people who you know uh, didn't watch my previous video, so it will be helpful for them. So to start uh, the Zookeeper, you know, but the, all the configuration in all those videos are you can follow, so you could simply run the jetkiss server to start the kafka there is a command this command right i am using this command to start the kafka kafka is started right started and to create the topic uh, i was using this so you could use uh, this command there are actually two versions of Kafka. in one version i mean the, in, the, in the older version of the kafka you need to mention the zookeeper in the newer version of the kafka you don't need to mention the zookeeper you can say simply run the bootstrap server so i will uh, actually give you the both the commands so that you could uh, refer it this this was the previous you know uh, the older uh, version kafka which used so i already created the topic that is the thread topic so what i am doing is like uh, in the producer see uh, this producer right so here so i simply used uh, a topic configuration for this because it's a simple example this is more into the consumer part rather than the than the producer part so i just created a uh, created, uh, topic from the command line thread topic and after that i added this here so what i am doing currently is like uh, i am using the main because i want to you know send them uh, multiple messages at the same time in a kind of burst mode so i'm using the command line and here i'm just uh, sending the 1000 messages and I'm delaying it for the 300 milliseconds. So you could see it here. So on the consumer side, what I am doing is, I did the normal you know, configuration for the Kafka consumer. The only difference is here is like this concurrency. So I'm setting the concurrency level at three. That means there will be three uh, different threads which are concurrently uh, listening the consumer and uh, reading it. So this one and on the consumer side, there is a difference. So for each, I have actually uh, created three listener. For each listener, I have given the ID as well as the partition. So I'm also going uh, at the partition level. I'm mentioning the topic and I'm saying that, okay, uh, read those messages from the partition one, uh, I mean, one here it it was it is zero, one two. That means three partition because I created the topic with the three partition. Now this, oh no, so, so, sorry, the uh, five partitions. So there will be uh, like five partitions. So, uh, uh, but I am using only the three. So you could, uh, if you required, you could uh, use it. So this now, if I will run the consumer see this consumer is here I'm just clearing the see, let me go to the producer part so I'm running the producer So let me delay the message so that you know, we could uh, see in a better way. 
let me do it 500 is I think good and uh, also I am hiding the long message so that we could see only the messages from the consumer side uh, this is the yeah. otherwise what will happen like because I am running it uh, both the services into one machine so it will show you you know uh, the the messages will be you know switching between the screen so it will be very difficult to identify so yeah the producer is started c the listener see the listener three two one they are actually picking the you know thread id uh what it actually does is like it uh, because it's it's a uh, concurrent so i think it creates the multiple threads but uh, at a time it uh, uses only three uh, thread so see this is reading message from the different value that is just message we could include it indefinitely increase it and in in cases like uh, if your consumer is slow so what you because whenever you know topic uh, produces the message it uh, send all the same message to the, all the participants so if you want to increase your throughput you could simply uh, consume the you know multiple topics or uh, some multiple partisans so that uh, you could meet your requirements so this is all about this uh, video so i'm concluding here uh, message me uh, you know in the in the video if you have any queries or 